Hi, my name is Megan Anderson, and I am a one-star diamond team beach body coach. And I wanted to send a little video out today because I actually got emailed a question from one of my YouTube subscribers, and they wanted me to do a video in response to their, their question. Um, in regards to eating and carbs and things of that nature. So their question was, they would like to get advice on eating throughout the day. I've heard several things about eating more calories early in the day and no carbs later in the day like at dinner. What are your thoughts? I usually try and limit my carbs around a workout, usually in the morning or in the afternoon. I'll have a big breakfast, then light lunch and even lighter dinner. And I don't eat dinner eat after dinner unless I'm famished. So um, this is a great question. And let me just first start off by telling you that everybody is different, okay? Depending on what your goals are, depending on what your activity level is, everyone is different. So when I first started my weight loss journey and I was looking to lose weight, that's what I did too. I started off with my bigger meal in the morning, you know, my carbs and things like that, oatmeal, what have you, a little bit less carbs by midday, and then no carb usually at dinner. And that, that was what I started off with when I first started my weight loss journey, losing weight. However, today, that's a little bit different. And again, this is going to depend on factors like your body and how you process carbs versus protein, okay? So it's really important for you to be in tune with those specific needs also in addition to your goals. So for me, for example, I'm in the process of building muscle. Um, I'm, not losing, I'm not trying to lose weight right now. And so, but that doesn't also mean I'm trying to beef up or anything. It just means that I want to try to grow my muscles without getting fat. So the, the goals that for me right now are, are muscle growth and sustaining muscle, right? So for me right now, my foods are eating carbs almost all day long. I eat six, five to six, sometimes seven meals a day. I always make sure to eat my carbs and a full meal before I strength train. Um, if I do do cardio in the morning, it's fasted sometimes. Um, a lot of times I'll do double days, like meaning if I do a short shoulder workout, I might do my cardio after that. Um, and so, again, I would have a meal, something before that. So my, my day works that normally I can actually get a full breakfast in in the morning, which is like um, a veggie and cheese omelet and an oatmeal. Um, I can eat all of that. And then um, I take the kids to school. It's pretty much partially digested by then. And then I can get, do my workout, right? And then um, by the, in the middle of the day, um, usually I'll have my Shakeology after that. That contains a little bit of carbs, um, all good carbs, of course. And then um, by midday, um, I always usually have some sort of rice or um, Ezekiel bread or something with my midday meal. Um, and then um, a lot of times, especially on my high car higher carb days, I like to have a protein pancake or um, a piece of Ezekiel bread with peanut butter on it or something with a protein shake, something like that. And then I, I'll do my veggies again at dinner. I, I only do like the veggies three different meals a day because I'm just not a fan of veggies. I don't know. I'll, I'll eat them and I feel great and all that stuff, but I'm not a fan if I don't have to. <laughs> and then so my dinner then will also, con it will be maybe less carbs, um, but will still include a carb. Um, so whereas like a full serving, um, you know, might be in the middle of the day, maybe I do um, a half a serving or a third, you know, a little bit less of a serving at dinner time. And then my last meal of the day, um, sometimes, sometimes not can contain a carb. So again, the reason that I do that, you know, is twofold. I'm, I'm trying to grow muscles. I'm trying to build muscle. And um, my body also really likes carbs. I do really well when I have carbs. So that's me, that's my body type. And I think a lot of people know if they're a low carb person or not, but that's not to say that you shouldn't have balanced foods throughout the day. Um, 
I think it really all just depends on what your goals are. If you're trying to lose weight, sure, you're going to limit those carbs. Like, for example, after I start to build muscle, well, in uh, July and August, I'll start to cut again for competition in the fall. And that will mean to cut back on carbs and some of the fats. Um, you're still always wanting to have a a balance of foods throughout the day. You should never not ever have carbs because your body needs carbs for you to, for, to, for fuel. Um, you are not uh, on a diet. You should never be on a diet. You should be fueling your body for its activity level, whether you're losing weight or whether you're gaining muscle or you're trying to do maintenance. You need to always be thinking about your body as a machine. You need to fuel it for um, its activity activity, um, for you to live, to burn, to lose, you know, that is, that is, uh, the mindset that you want to have. I was actually talking about this this morning in one of my challenge groups that, um, you know, food is so commercialized. We associate food with, um, parties and events and, um, you know, uh, life events like weddings and, and it's all over the TV and all these things. I mean, Think about it. You don't see commercials for sweet potatoes, right? You don't see really commercials for brown rice, um, stuff like that. When you think about um, spinach, do you see spinach commercials? I mean, or cashews commercials, almond butter. I never, I don't think I've ever seen an almond butter commercial. Everything is about being fast and on the go and getting it in and things like that. But what we don't realize is all of those things um, are making, you know, those foods are actually making us crave more bad stuff. Um, a, a good example of that is um, uh, NutraSweet and, um, you know, artificial sweeteners and things that are in um, sodas or um, protein shakes, for example, all kinds of stuff that those are hidden in. And those chemicals actually set things off in your brain to make you want more bad stuff. Um, it's a chemical, chemical reaction in your brain that makes your body crave more things that are made up, up of that nature. So actually you need to more retrain your brain to want the good stuff. Um, I'll be really honest with you that I feel like a million bucks when I eat clean. Um, and I'm sure plenty of you can agree that when you go out and you have a splurge, um, you know, I've done it a million times. You go out and you have a couple margaritas and a bunch of nachos and you feel like the next day, right? It hinders your performance. I mean, that that's probably a big testimony right there. I always say the next day I have a food hangover because it's so true. My performance is lower. My endurance is lower. So it really goes to show you how big food has an impact on your body and everything. And as a result, you're not craving those things because you're balancing with fruits and vegetables and good carbs and you know and all of those things that you need to have in order to fuel your body. You know, think of yourself like an athlete because if you're active and you're exercising, you're weight training, you're running, you're doing burpees, you're an athlete. Think about your body that way. And you don't see like Michael Phelps and um, Serena Williams and all that, um, you know, shoving cheeseburgers down their throat. Not to say they probably don't once in a while, but, you know, think about it in that way. So um, such a great question. Um, everybody is really scared of carbs, and they shouldn't be. It, they are so important and so essential for you to be successful. Um, even if you're someone that's trying to lose weight, you still need carbs. Like even when I cut and I'm on prep week and I'm on, you know, two weeks away from stage, I'm still eating oatmeal and I'm still eating rice and that kind of stuff. So that will just tell you right there that that stuff is still important, even when you're trying to lean, 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 lean. Um, if you are following the Beachbody program, or any program for that matter, you need to follow the nutrition guide. All of the nutrition guides that come with the programs, if you're using the containers or what have you, will all talk about eating carbs. There's none programs that tell you don't eat carbs. And so definitely, um, you know, if you are, um, for example, let's say this might have pertain to this question is let's say you are on the 21 day fix um, container program and you're utilizing the containers okay and you have figured out how many containers you need for your um, body makeup and your goals and your mindset right 
um, and you're, you're only allowed so many carbs per day. So yeah, I probably would eat all the carbs in the more, you know, in the earlier part of the day for sure. Um, but that's not to say that it's going to hurt you to have them at dinner. Um, no, I don't think that's going to bother you at all. I think that it's up to your lifestyle, your dynamic. How does it sit on you before you go to bed? Um, I wouldn't eat um, any more than two hours before bed. So you, you totally could eat dinner like at eight o'clock and then go to bed at 10 o'clock. You know, some people just have that life, that lifestyle is a little bit later or something or they work or whatever, or you can't get your workout in, right? You have to eat something after that. No, don't ever not go to bed, go to bed after you've worked out and not eat anything. You know, it's just as important to fuel before your workout is afterwards. And that's a big timing issue too. So like I mentioned, I have a big meal before I work out because you need all of that. Um, you could even do something as little as, um, you know, a protein shake and, um, Ezekiel with, with the peanut butter pre-workout. I do that too. Sometimes a little bit lighter if I'm waking up early to go to the gym or something. Um, but then post-workout, same thing. You need to get those proteins right in there within like 30 minutes. So if you're not eating a full meal right away, you need to have something like, um, Shakeology or, um, the, the recover product from our, our performance line. Um, a protein shake, something that doesn't, you know, contain a bunch of fillers and additives. You want to make sure that you are, you know, feeding that your body right after that workout. That's so important too. Um, so I hope that wasn't too long winded. I hope that answered your questions. Um, please let me know if you have any more topics that you'd love for me to speak on, or comment on. I'd be happy to follow me on Facebook, send me an email message, and I'd be happy uh, to answer any questions for you if you're interested in learning more about um, nutrition and how that can work with what you're doing in your lifestyle. I'd be happy to help you with that as well. So my mess my information is below. You can find me on Facebook, um, email or message me and uh, have a great week. Thank you.